Hi, my name is Katherine Schultz, and I'm the Education and Development Associate at the Pence Gallery. Today, I'm standing in the Lover's Eye exhibit, which I co-curated with our Assistant Director, Eileen Hendren. The idea for the Lover's Eye show came from the history of Lover's Eyes, or eye miniatures, which were popular in Great Britain during the late 1700s through the Victorian era. Typically painted on a small piece of ivory, an eye miniature depicts a single eye representing the gaze of a loved one. Thought to have been originally created as a secret token of love, these mysterious portraits were often worn as jewelry. Thousands survive today, but for the most part, their subjects and the artists who created them are unknown. I love the way the local and regional artists in this exhibit have uniquely explored the lover's eye theme. Melissa Yuroff's mixed media work with its decorative pearl border recalls lover's eye jewelry. And Tony Rizzo's paintings with their bright and colorful paint pour backgrounds really bring new life to the theme of the lover's eye. Hello, art lovers. This is Eileen Hendren, assistant director at The Pence. I wanted to take a moment to share with you our current exhibit upstairs in the Andreessen Learning Center. This show in particular was a lot of fun to curate with Katherine Schultz. I was able to bring in a piece by Jory Mason, a very talented East Coast artist that is also John Neal's granddaughter. John Neal, for those of you who do not recognize the name, illustrated the Wizard of Oz series. Jeff Faber from Brooklyn contributed a beautiful piece representing his cat's eye. Several of the artists showing chose to paint their pet's eye, solidifying the relationship between man and pets. Lastly, I wanted to point out Steve Levine's piece. It is of a beautiful mirror with an intriguing eye reflecting back at the viewer. All of these wonderful pieces will be on exhibit through January 30th. Mm -hmm.